Krasa. I'm uh, representing here GAC Corporate Academy. I'm working there as a, a GagLearn management consultant. And today I'm going to present you a case study of two self-paced courses, which are built with conditions and restrictions. And um, let's start. Why is this jumping? Okay, this is the first course. This is the GAC Agent Net course. It's about uh, uh, a uh, business application we use. And this is the other course, <laughs> the second course. Uh, our courses are quite savage, as you see, and I'm going to justify this in a while. Uh, but first, let me tell you about uh, two words, who is uh, G GAC. Golf Agency Company is a transportation company. It uh, provides uh, shipping, logistic, marine, and it's a multinational company. And it has created uh, GAC Corporate Academy, which is the learning organization of the group. Uh, GCA has been established in 2007, and it's uh, certified with ISO 29990 since uh, 2014. Uh, this, is, this certification is for non-formal uh, educational, uh, um, for, it's a standard for learning services for non-formal education and training. I will never remember this. Our courses are, of course, uh, oriented to the, the, the needs of the business and are 90% online, of course, through our Moodle site, which is the learn gac.com. So in GCA, we are using a very simple, very clear, linear uh, course design uh, for our courses. We have a week uh, zero with general information, uh, news forum and general forum. We have a couple of uh, weeks or topics with content and uh, activities. And uh, the final topic contains activities, a mastery quiz, a course evaluation, and of course at the end we have the certificate uh, topic. The typical uh, structure of a module uh, contains introduction, learning outcome, uh, content, one or more section, activities, and a checklist. So here is a course, a self-paced course, from a student's point of view. As you can see, things are pretty simple. But I, in uh, self-paced courses, we use uh, a restriction and condition. We actually we set the condition to um, a required grade, and we have a restriction used based on this uh, quiz. That's why there is a green tick. I don't think you can see it, but the tick next to the quiz is a green one. That means that user has passed the has reached the passing score and can move on to the next. Seeing the same module from a teacher's perspective, things are also quite simple. Uh, here, teachers, of course, can see the restrictions used for this module, which we have hidden for the students. Uh, you can see the restriction for the previous uh, module squeeze and uh, a date restriction that closes the the module after a specific date. So these are simple. These are just pets. These are the ordinary courses we have. So what makes GAC Agent Net different? Let me tell you a story. A year ago, uh, Group IT came to GCA and said that we want to run a training for our business application that we use in-house for uh, our personnel, and we want to train them. The application is called GAC Agent Net, and they came to us with the content organized in 10 modules. Each module had it, uh, some, subsec some sections, and uh, each section had some subsections. But that was not all. They told us that the business application supports eight different roles. And each role sees specific things. So they wanted us to replicate these 
thing, <laughs> these options uh, inside the training. And the, sp the spreadsheet that they saw us was quite long, as you can see. And we start thinking how we, we, we could implement this and meet their requirements. We had on the, on, in one hand, we had the typical structure of our courses, which are uh, the basic template we use for many years now. Uh, our users are used to that. They want it in the safe path. And on the other hand, we had a whole new um, challenge to meet. So um, I don't want to <laughs> overanalyze things, but uh, I want to share with you all the um, thoughts uh, and um, the decisions we took. Uh, the group IT said that the application may have uh, ad hoc updates. So we couldn't set up a different course, for example, for each role, because we cannot manage eight different courses and update them ad hoc as they wanted. So we said that we are going with a single course for all roles. Of course, um, they asked for a self-paced course, and uh, it's, they said that each section will be assessed by, with quiz questions. So we prefer to use lessons instead of quizzes, so we can combine texts and questions together. We had the personalized learning path that we also wanted to cultivate the big picture of uh, the application. So we, we thought that it would be a good idea to let users go through all modules even if they don't have something to study on just to see what, what is inside. And of course they ask us that they want to certify the user in a specific role. So we had to set up a mastery quiz based on the parts of the uh, training and the parts of the application that uh, are relevant to their roles. So we, um, there are many concerns Perhaps in the beginning it sounds quite clear, the concept, but we had many concerns about the self-paced uh, nature of the course because users would be uh, all together in one course that is linear structure, but they won't be able to see every single one. And perhaps that would be confusing to them. So we want to ensure, I'm gonna show you in action this, uh, that they won't get lost. So we set up a course with the typical format, with general information, 10 content modules, mastery quiz, and a certificate. And each uh, module would have the standard structure with introduction, learning outcomes, uh, content lessons combined with questions and a conclusion. We had to be careful to set up the great conditions on lessons and the passing score because we're talking for a self-paced course, so we want to provide the maximum assistance to the users. Uh, we had to set up different learning paths for each one of the roles, so we set up groups and group restrictions in item level to personalize the learning paths, but we also had to restrict, restrict the module um, with great and group restrictions, because as I said in the beginning, a self-paced course in GCA is dependent on the grade of the previous module. Each module is dependent in the previous module's grade. So we have to combine a lot of things. Uh, we took the spreadsheet that they gave us. We had the modules fixed. We renamed the sections to lessons. We used subsections as uh, the lessons page, so we uh, skip them from our view here. And let me uh, give you an example. We needed to be sure that, for example, the um, operations manager users, in order to be able to access module three, that they, he, will, he will have to have finished 2.4 integration settings lessons. 
So here you can see things from uh, his point of view. He has the required score. I don't know if you can see it. It's, the tick is green here in the integrate, integration settings. And uh, of course, you can see the next uh, module. Module three is open. Here you can see a little warning. These are the stuff that uh, we took seriously into account for uh, our users. That uh, the warning says that you will be seeing only parts of your role. We provided a specific guide for the module. The module, uh, the, this guide uh, is actually an overview of the whole module uh, that indicates which part of the module will be visible for the specific user. And the rest are quite simple, although you can see the inconsistency. We jump from 3.3 .3 to 3.6. And we have a note that they require to achieve a specific grade in these uh, lessons. At the end, we had a reminder that you have to have all green ticks. Now, this is the uh, teacher's point of view. As you can see, things are getting a bit complicated because all these are just the module restrictions. Uh, you know, see the introduction barely fits in the screen. Uh, 3.1, 3.2 are clear. 3.3, we have restrictions. Each lesson is combined with a label, so we had to hide the label and the lesson at the same time with the same restrictions. And the same modules goes on. I know you cannot see it, so I'm passing away. Uh, I just want to show you the restriction, how they look at the end. And uh, let me say with you how we set up. Uh, the item restrictions, the lesson restrictions, are set as not available unless you don't belong to X group. The reason uh, I said things like this is because when I saw this spreadsheet, I thought that the reds are less than greens, so I would have less work to do. <laughs> so I just did it that way. The module restrictions are said that uh, module is not available. It will be hidden unless any of the following. You belong to this group, and you have the passing grade in that activity. So uh, the module restriction have been set in two levels. Level one has been added is a set restriction, has been added in order to combine all the second level restrictions. Second level restrictions are based on group. We had eight groups, and uh, I combined the group with the grade. So here is the overview of the restrictions of one module. As you can see, there are eight. You cannot actually see it, just <laughs> a fuzzy overview. Uh, so imagine that this should had been done about 10 times because we had 10 modules and I'm presenting here only one module. So yeah, I think that justifies that we had an elephant in our, <laughs> our site. Um, the GFL course, it's uh, the Gag Free Legacy course, uh, actually had the same requirements. Group IT came with the same uh, demands for a new course. This time we had 12 users, 12 different roles. Uh, the difference between the two courses is actually my confidence. <laughs> I did the first one uh, quite hard, but the second time I was much confident and I used restrictions even more complicated. So I set up the restrictions in, based in three levels, and I combined the groups uh, all together, that they had the same uh, grade restriction. So the, <laughs> that's uh, another savage beast in our side. Uh, it's very dangerous, but it was much easier for me to set up, it's much quicker, it's uh, lighter, it's a better fix. But of course, it still is a savage animal, so we have to be careful. Uh, as a takeaway, 
I'm giving you the how to process of a such complex course. It's just five plus one. Set up the course structure as you normally do. Fill up the course uh, content, the lessons. Don't forget the passing grade and the activity completion. Set up the, co uh, the groups. S add the group restrictions in activity level and then add the group and grade restriction in module level. But above all, don't forget to test your course. Test your course while you set up, test your course while <laughs> you create everything. We are off. Run to the post.